Good morning, Collective. It is Monday morning, September the 12th. We will get started in just a moment. First, I would like to request if you have not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. If you click on the bell, it will notify you when I upload new videos. If you like my readings, uh, give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what you like, what you don't, what resonates. Make suggestions for other content you would like for me to create. Um, all of these things are free for you, but they will help my channel to grow. And I am grateful for all the support that you show to me and to my channel. So let us get started with our reading. So, in the position of the body... We have the Nine of Cups. Goodness put out is returned in abundance. This signifies happiness, satisfaction, attending or hosting a social event. This is the wish card. Wishes come true. Find emotional contentment within yourself first. Get ready for something really, really perfect. It will be worth the wait. Think carefully about your next move. In the position of the heart, we have the three of cups reversed. This is about feeling disconnected, trying to fit in. Someone may be taking advantage of innocent people. Maybe you need some time alone. Enjoy this time by yourself so you can get clear on who to connect with in the future. Recuperate and gain the support of your friends before returning to reality. Don't overindulge. You need balance. In the position of the mind, we have the Ten of Swords reversed. This is about mental recovery, deep wounds that heal slowly, and time for something new. Inevitable change is here. Stop fighting it. Trust that everything happens for a reason. Old situation may have ended badly. You're still carrying around the wounds. These old pains need to be dealt with so you can heal. Create a new sense of self. The sadness and pain is ending. Release and let go. Then move forward with a sense of renewal and hope for the future. In the messages from spirit, we have the page of swords reversed. This shows up when you're holding back from expressing your truth in a public forum. Time to journal and then shout your message from the rooftops. It can mean that someone is all talk and no action. So be careful about making promises that you know you cannot keep. Think things through, don't be too hasty, and tackle things one at a time. On the bottom of the deck, we had the Ace of Wands, and this is about passion ignited. Go for it. You're motivated for your new adventure or job opportunity. Take baby steps to make it happen. This is the now card. Don't wait. Whatever you need to do needs to happen right now. Be spontaneous. And our overall energies, we had the V for victory. In some endeavor, you will overcome all the obstacles in your path. And we also had fire, which is about strong emotions, passionate love or hate could become all-consuming, so keep your feelings in check. And then we had the fox, who is shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. He knows when to take chances and when to lay low. So all in all, we're talking about, yeah, there's going to be some change. I mean, we've been talking about that for a while now. There's going to be some change, and there's some pain possibly associated with that. But we need to, you know, step back, regroup, 
heal those wounds, release and let go of anything that's not serving us. Think about um, who we're going to reconnect with uh, after everything is said and done. And, you know, enjoy some support from our friends. Uh, lean on them a little if you need to. And start taking those baby steps towards what your next journey or your next adventure is going to be. Because at the end of the day, we have victory. What obstacles? <laughs>